Welcome to the video tutorial for your new cable TV set-top box. This video tutorial is designed in two parts, the basic functions of the remote control and the functions of the personal video recorder. The universal remote control supplied with your system can be programmed to control not only the set-top box, but also up to two other devices, such as your TV and a DVD player. Before we begin, Make sure your remote control has fresh batteries and your TV is set to the proper channel. Your television may be connected to the set-top box by coax. Other inputs are accessed by repeatedly pressing the input button. The power button turns specific devices on and off. As stated earlier, this remote can control up to three devices and has been programmed by your technician. To program this remote for your TV, Start by pressing the OK button on the set-top box for about 5 seconds. When releasing, the front panel will display RC Reg, which means it is in remote registration mode. Press and hold the STB button on the remote control for about 5 seconds. The STB button will illuminate. Press the STB button once again. Both the STB and AUX button will illuminate to indicate that the remote is now in the registration mode. Use the number keys to send the specific registration event. Press 1 to send the register remote to control decoder 1 for remote number 1. If using more remotes, press number 2 for the second remote and number 3 for the third. If you do not press a button within 10 seconds or inadvertently press a wrong key, the STB button light will turn off and the remote registration process ends. After you enter a registration event, the STB button light will blink twice and the front panel of the set-top box will display RC Reg DX to indicate a successful registration. Now turn on the DVD player, then press the appropriate device button on the remote, in this case, the AUX button. Next, Press and hold the setup key until the selected mode key light blinks twice. Then release the button. The device mode key will light up. Enter the four digit device code. If performed correctly, the selected device mode key light will blink twice. If not, the selected device mode key will fast blink seven times and the programming will be terminated. Aim the remote control at your device and press the power button once. The device should turn off. If it does not respond, repeat the same steps again. If your device does not respond after trying all device codes listed for your brand, or your brand is not listed, you can try the auto scan method of programming. Again, power the device on and press the appropriate device button on the remote control. Then press and hold the setup button until the device button blinks twice. Then release it. Press the power key once and aim your new remote at the device. Press either the channel up or down button to do the auto scan. The remote is sending IR codes from a pre-programmed library in five second intervals. The device key will be on and will blink every five seconds during this operation. If the device turns off, a working code has been found. Press OK once to lock in the code and the device button will blink twice. If the remote can't identify your device after going through the entire library, the device key will fast blink seven times and the search mode will end. With your device code programmed, you can now control your TV, DVD player, and set-top box, all with a single remote. Keep in mind, you do not need to turn the set-top box off every time. These three are the device selection keys. Pressing STB allows you to use the remote control functions of the set-top box, such as channel changing and volume control. Pressing the TV key controls your television for functions like sleep timer and input. And the AUX key is for a DVD or VCR control. To change channels within the set-top box, you can use the channel up or down key, which will change channels one at a time. You can also use the number key to go directly to a specific channel. To get an overview of the programming available, press the guide key and a schedule appears of what is currently playing and what is scheduled later.
The direction keys move the highlight one channel at a time. The channel up and channel down button will move your guide to the next page of the scheduled programming. Pressing the OK key brings up information about the program and the selection box. Information about recording and other functions are covered in the Personal Video Recorder section of this tutorial. The Volume key will adjust the volume gradually, and the Mute key will toggle the sound on and off. While watching a program, pressing the Menu key brings up the menu bar, which provides information about every feature of your service. Pressing the TV key, then the Menu key, brings up your television's menu. The info bar provides information about the program you are watching. This will also appear anytime you change channels. Pressing the info key again brings up even more information about the program. To get information about what's on other channels or in the future, use the arrow keys to go up or down or to the right for programs in the future. Use the left arrow key to go back to your current channel and the exit removes the info bar. Exit also allows you to exit any screen you are viewing, such as the guide or info bar. If you have programmed your remote to control a DVD or VCR, these function buttons allow you to pause, rewind, fast forward, or skip chapters depending on the function of your device. Remember, first press the AUX key to activate the remote for this device. These keys will also control video on demand and live TV with the personal video recorder option. These functions are covered in that tutorial. There are several other keys on this remote. However, they are reserved for future use. In the first section, we covered how to use the remote control and some basics of how the system works. Now, let's take a look at some advanced features that help manage parental controls, caller ID, and scheduling program recording. The advanced functions can be accessed by either pressing the menu key or pressing guide and scrolling up to the menu and pressing OK. This will take you to the menu listing, which allows you to scroll to a specific function. You can set parental controls, favorites list, search for a specific programming, and many other functions. The Parental Controls Edit allows you to block viewing of certain shows based on content rating, TV rating, movie rating, or even specific channels. To edit parental controls for all users, highlight the Parental Controls Edit button and press OK. Movie rating determines the highest rating for movies that will not be blocked. To set movie rating, highlight the option box next to movie rating and press OK. Use the direction buttons to cycle through available ratings, then press OK. TV rating determines the highest rating for television that will not be blocked. To set TV rating, highlight the option box next to TV rating and press OK. Use the direction buttons to cycle through available ratings, then press OK. Unlock timeout determines how long parental controls will remain disabled when turned off from the main menu. To set unlock timeout, Highlight the option box next to Unlock Timeout and press OK. Use the direction buttons to display from 30 minutes to 270 minutes in 30 minute increments, then press OK. Channel Blocking Edit displays a list of all channels available. You can then block or unblock any channel. Block channels will not appear in channel lineup or available channels. To block channels, Highlight the Channel Blocking Edit button and press OK. The channel blocking list will appear. To block or unblock a channel, highlight the channel entry and press OK. To go to the next screen of channels, press the up or down direction button. To save your changes and return to the preferences screen, highlight update and press OK. Block unrated allows or blocks any programming that does not have a rating. To turn block unrated on or off, highlight the checkbox and press OK. Once you have programmed the parental controls, you can enable or disable by simply pressing the menu key, highlight the parental controls button, and change the setting. Favorites allows you to choose, edit, create,
create or delete a favorite channel list. You can even have multiple favorite lists. Press Menu and highlight Favorites, then press OK. You will be presented with a screen with options to choose, edit, create, or delete a favorite list, or cancel. To choose a favorites list, first you must create one. Highlight Create and press OK. You will see the Favorites Create Edit screen. The screen displays every channel offered. The Name box is already highlighted. Press OK to use the on-screen keyboard to change the name for your favorites list. First, highlight Clear All and press OK to clear the default name. Highlight each letter in the new name and press OK. Once you have entered the name, highlight Done and press OK. Highlight a channel to add to or remove from your favorites list and press OK. A channel included in the favorites list shows a heart icon to the right of the channel info. To go to the next screen of channels, press the down direction button. To save your favorites list, highlight Update at the bottom right of your screen and press OK. To cancel your favorites list without saving it, highlight the Cancel button at the bottom right of your screen and press OK. Now you can choose a favorites list, add, remove, or edit with the same procedure. Search allows you to enter the name or partial name of a program or video you are looking for and have your service find any program matching the text you enter. Press Menu and highlight Search, then press OK. The highlight will be on the search text box when the search screen appears. Press OK and a keyboard will appear to the right of the screen. Highlight each letter in the name of the program you want to find and press OK on each. Each time you press OK, you will see that letter added to the text box. If you enter a wrong letter, highlight, delete, and press OK to go back one space. If you need to start over, highlight Clear All and press OK. Once you have entered as much of the program name as you feel necessary, highlight Done and press OK. You can now highlight any program and press OK. There are three types of scheduled events, reminders, auto-tunes, and recordings. A reminder informs you a program is about to come on. An auto-tune automatically changes the channel when the program is about to start. A recording will automatically record the program to your set-top box. To record a program, you need to have a personal video recorder or other external recording device, such as a VCR. Find the program you want, highlight its listing, and press OK. If you are recording a program, press the Record key instead of OK. Once you have highlighted the program, press Auto-Tune, Reminder, or even Record and press OK. You will then be returned to Guide. The program listing now shows an icon next to the program's name. A few minutes before your program comes on, a box will appear on your screen telling you that you have a reminder. Press Info to display the reminder. Highlight the button showing the program name and press OK to tune to that program or highlight Cancel and press OK to ignore the reminder. Just before the program begins, a message will display, giving you the option to tune in or cancel. You can choose either option or just wait. The pop-up will go away and the system will tune you to the correct channel. If you choose to record a program that is part of a regular series, you will be offered the option to record the series. This allows you to record every episode of a favorite program. Pressing the phone key provides access to the caller ID call log. You can review log entries and delete individual entries. Note, you must subscribe to caller ID to access this feature. Whenever you receive a call, an alert will appear on the upper corner of your screen. This alert will be removed after a few seconds. Highlight caller ID and press OK. A list of received calls appears to the right. 
Highlighting a caller ID log entry will display the name and number of the caller and the date and time of the call in the upper left corner of the screen. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the basic functions of the remote control. Next, we will cover the personal video recorder, or PVR.